fish uh, species I specialize in is triple tail. Twelve of the 19 IGFA world records out of Fort Canaveral. Um, that's different line classes from two pound tests all the way up to 50 pound tests. Um, different gear, fly tackle, conventional gear, and that's men and women. So um, that's something special about Canaveral and Triple Tail. Obviously, if 12 to 19 IGFA world records are out of Canaveral. I fish out of a 23 contender. It was pretty sporty out there today, but we were able to get on the fish, and um, I usually do that on a fairly regular basis with that boat. I prefer a steep V boat over a bay boat because it allows me to get where I need to go in comfort and it pretty much takes, takes a rough chop for the size boat it is. Mullet run is a really good uh, time of year too. It's around October. The, the triple tails show back up October, November, and December. The triple tails spawn twice a year. They spawn April, May, and June, and then October, November, and December. Not a lot of, is known about those fish, so uh, there's a lot of interest in triple tail. They're really good to eat. They're kind of prehistoric looking. I thought the day went amazing, but it's average actually. The, the way it's been the last couple of days, I've been putting people on uh, a lot of big fish. Average 12 to 15 fish in a half a day. Uh, depending on the anglers, you know, we lose a lot of fish as well, so today was good. We had a lot of big fish. I'd say what at least three of them were in the 20 pound range or over 20 pounds, and quite a few of them were in the 12 to 15 pound range, so it was good.